Hi, it's Cheryl Eisen from Interior Marketing Group. I'm usually in New York, but today I'm in my Miami home with six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a huge kitchen, a little movie theater, and some other exciting things I am dying to show you. Come on inside. The moment I enter the home, I am struck by this gorgeous double height ceiling foyer and this beautiful staircase which I designed inspired by the Guggenheim, my little touch of home. It really does remind me of New York, but in a much nicer climate. Right off the staircase is the great room. And everyone knows that I love a double height ceiling. This chandelier that we put in really brings your eye up, as do the floor to ceiling drapes, the low profile furnishings, and everything else. I flanked the fireplace with mirrors floor to ceiling to give the room not only more light, more windows, but more space. It makes the room feel huge. Right off of the living room is the formal dining room. I love the white on white on white tones, and I just marry different textures to keep it interesting. And right off the dining room is my office, where all the hard work gets done. But you can't have a formal dining room without an amazing kitchen, and I can't wait to show you that next. Come on. I am in love with this kitchen. Not only because the island is gigantic, but because I put this panda marble on here and as an accent on the backsplash, I also put this cool Adelman inspired chandelier above just to make it different and keep things interesting. And right off this kitchen is a cute little breakfast room with a banquette and a cool light fixture and it's fun to have breakfast and even casual dining. Because the kitchen's a natural gathering spot, it's always ideal to have a family room right off the kitchen. Here you watch your favorite TV show, hang out, have some drinks, have some snacks. I also still like to keep the minimalist, low profile furnishings. I love the tones in the paint. And something you'll notice about the low profile furnishings, it's a theme throughout the house, like in the primary bedroom where we're going next. Come on, check it out. This is the primary bedroom. It is my little oasis. And I always love to do a moody, romantic vibe in a bedroom. Textured wallpaper, textured drapes, a really cool chandelier. And see what I mean? Low profile furnishings. It provides a seamless transition. After I'm done watching TV, I can crawl right into bed. And first thing when I wake up, I step right outside to my outdoor seating area and have a wonderful warm cup of coffee. So this is the back of my property, which I really tried to style based on some of the beautiful resorts I've visited. But what's a resort without a pool? Surrounded by royal palms, this pool features a jacuzzi fit for eight people, and of course, my pet flamingos. Thank you for joining me in my South Florida home. This project was a labor of love, and I enjoyed every minute of it. I'm gonna take some laps around the pool, and I'll see you back in New York. Bye. There's even more stunning homes and designs just waiting for you. Come on in, the water's fine. Like and subscribe, because a lot of these homes have spectacular pools.